Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for a, another Wednesday straight shave. Um, yeah, it was an interesting weekend. <laughs> my, I, as you all know, although it's so for those of you that already know, I had my weekend, my birthday on Sunday. Um, let's just say copious amounts of alcohol were consumed over that weekend, hence no video uh, on Saturday. So apologies for that, but I did warn you. Um, <clears throat> I was out at lunchtime, I was out in the evening on Saturday, there was just no way I was going to get a video done. So um, yeah, here we are. I'm, I've finally sobered up, let's put it that way. Yesterday I was still feeling a bit rough. <laughs> I don't think I've drank like that since I was a teenager. <laughs> anyway, right, um, I haven't even looked to see what video this is. What have I done with my phone? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's somewhere around, um, this will be straight shave number 93 or 94. Uh, I'll put it up there, whatever it is. I've left my phone upstairs. So hardware wise, uh, brush today is my Man uh, Yaki Mandarin um, 22 millimeter. Beautiful orange brush with a very short knot, um, but the short knot gives it a bit more backbone than normal so that's the brush I'm using today the bowl is a new bowl to the den I've been talking about this bowl for quite a long time saying it's one of my favorites so um, and this is the bowl that I'm talking about so it's the life venture ellipse bowl but I thought you know what I've been you know singing its praises for so long time I got a few different colors so I've got a blue one so that's a brand new one I got this for my birthday um, so I've got to take the label because that's the one I'm going to use today let's just take this label off there you go um, and I got So I got, I, that was my original, and then I got a lighter gray one. So, so yeah, um, so I'm using the blue one today, because as you can probably see, um, I used the other one uh, over the weekend. But yeah, so looking forward to using that. And then the razor today, let me put my glasses on. It's a Shavette, and it's the Irvin Barber Company uh, Shavette. And this is a great, great little razor. Well, it's not a little razor, quite big. It's got a um, a Feather Pro uh, or Feather Professional blade in there. So that's, I'm looking forward to that. So that's the hardware. Um, so I've got to the stage now where I'm gonna get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all ready for the shave. Let's wet the subject matter down, shall we? So, how was your weekend? I, if I'm honest, I don't remember. There were quite a few spots during the weekend, like Saturday night, we had a, a takeaway curry. I don't remember even eating that curry, but I did. <laughs> um, this is the pre-shave today. Aroma bar, as I usually use. So just a couple of squirts. One squirt's usually enough, but the first squirt this time was pretty much all air. So just rub it in. Oh, fantastic. And then I just rub it on my arms. Um, the soap is another Twa Bird soap. And this one is a beautiful scent. It's lemongrass and ginger. So hopefully you can see that. Um, the scent off this absolutely stunning. You get what it says on the label. Lemongrass and ginger. It's fantastic scent. This. Um, if you want to try, oh, excuse me a minute. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, yeah, that was a a nurse coming to a falls nurse coming to assess my mother or reassess her. Um, make sure she's doing, she's okay and everything. Um, 
so I've been away from the camera for a, at least half an hour so <coughs> I'm gonna have to start again I think um, but I, obviously you've seen the hardware that I'm using um, I had applied the pre-shave but um, my face feels pretty dry at the moment so we'll see how I get on uh, I'm adding some more of the aroma bar Just rub it into the bristles and the, rub, the rest on my elbows. Um, so the soap that I'm using today is Trois Birds. I don't know whether I've already shown you this or not. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's kind of thrown me right off. But it's the lemongrass and ginger and I've got to say the scent off this absolutely stunning um, I've got a feeling I've already done that so um, this is the lather in the bowl which I've had to rehydrate a little bit because it dried out in the time that my mother was being assessed so um, let's get some water on the face rehydrate the bristles and get some of this lather on. This is well hydrated lather. So it may look a bit thin, but believe me it isn't. It's just, it's blooping everywhere already, so I can tell. This is gonna be really slick. And the, the, oh god, I've got it going everywhere, look at it. Um, because the loft on this brush is so short, this is quite a, it's got quite a lot of backbone on this brush. So, I'm dropping it everywhere. Because I rehydrated it, I think it's probably a bit too much water in it now, but we're going to go with it. just coming down the side of the brush. Save that for the next pass. Let's just dry off the hands and let's go for it. So yeah, I think I've only used this razor once, maybe twice before, uh, but both experiences were excellent. Um, Irving Barber Company, look them up. This is a great razor. Um, very easy to change blades you just unscrew this uh, button here if you like and then it twists 90 degrees and you can just slide the blade in so spine down first bring the blade flat to the face and then just bring it out slightly fantastic really smooth really efficient I really like this razor yes yeah, so I've forgotten what I, I'd already told you <clears throat> other than I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that I had a lot to drink um, yeah I'm not going to go into details but that as I said, as I think I've already said, there were parts of the weekend that I complete I can't remember. <laughs> so I haven't done that since I was a kid. Well, since I was a teenager. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Feels great. <clears throat> yeah, so 
I hope you had a good weekend and you all raised a glass. I certainly raised several. I think I lost count after the seventh. Um, and that was early in the evening. Um, I certainly raised the glass several times to you guys, um, all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Um, yeah, want to thank you all. Um, it just amazes me that, you know, I, I can remember right back in the beginning when I was desperate to get to the hundred. In fact, before that, I wasn't even sure whether I was going to continue. You know, I did an instructional video for a friend um, and then I got a few subscribers off that and I thought, well, I'll give it a, I'll, I'll do a few more and see how it goes. And then it just snowballed. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, it amazes me when I think back to when I first started, how far I've got. I've, I think I'm 1,200 and something subscribers now, so really great. And I appreciate all of you. I really do. Um, it's uh, it's an honour to be part of this community. It really is. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what you got to do. <laughs> There's a, a little button down here. Is, is my logo down there not that you can really make out it's a logo uh, but if you click on that you'll subscribe straight away but I would appreciate if you went then on to the notifications bell and click that and start leaving comments because it's the comments that that keep me going you know um, and the new subscribers obviously but you know leaving comments and being part of a conversation is what it's all about for me so oh there's me gonna add more lather <clears throat> so here we go across the grain on this side is straight up for me soap on my fingers there's not a lot of feedback with this uh, razor but it does such a great job and it's really comfortable Absolutely love it. I think I'm going to need some alum. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I could caught myself there. <clears throat> Put myself in two spots. It's probably the left leftover of the hangover. <laughs> no, I'm fine now, but yesterday I still felt a bit rough, you know. And I've uh, made a commitment not to do that again on a birthday weekend. Because it's the hangover afterwards. It's really unpleasant. I felt so ill. I felt like death warmed up on Monday because it was all weekend. Um, I went out on Friday night, didn't have many on Friday night, probably three pints, something like that. Um, and I went out obviously on Saturday, that was the big one. Saturday was crazy. Um, I know I had at least 10 pints um, that I purchased myself and then other people were buying for me. So you can imagine the state I was in by the time I got round to eat the curry. 
Um, I, I didn't think I was capable of doing that. My normal is I just go on a Sunday and I'll have three pints and that's me. Um, you know, I'm happy and I go home. Um, but obviously Saturday I went a bit nuts um, and really went for it. Apology for the red flags here or the Japanese flags. Oh yeah, it's against the grain this pass. Yeah, the Japanese flags are just little grazes, they're not cuts. <clears throat> oh. Let's just go up this way with that. So, and then it continued into Sunday. Um, didn't have anything to drink during the day, but my kids decided they were going to treat me to a, a pub meal because um, I was quite happy to cook one of my favourite meals, which is roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Um, but they said, no, you're not cooking on your birthday, you, you're going out. So I went down my local pub at about five o'clock and then left there about seven to go for this meal in the evening. Um, but I managed to sink quite a few on Sunday night as well, probably four or five. And uh, yeah, th I think the combination of all of that made me feel quite ill <laughs> on Monday. So I'm not doing that again. I'm, I'm, I'll go out on the Sunday and have my three. If my birthday falls on a day other than a Sunday, then I'll have a couple of beers, but I'm not gonna go as mad as I did this last weekend. I think, do you know, I think it was leftovers of COVID, you know, just getting out and having a laugh. Um, I certainly won't be making a habit of that. I used to, I used to drink quite, quite a lot um, during the week and sort of every other day I'd be down the pub when I was a lot younger than I am now. Um, and of course when I lived in Germany that stuff's dynamite. Um, especially their Oktoberfest beer which actually I've got quite a few bottles of Spartan Oktoberfest beer and Paulana. Um, so a few of those were drank as well over the weekend. So here we go, final pickup pass. Definitely need Adam. <clears throat> this is really slick soap. Fantastic. More Adam. Still got loads of lather left. off again. Wow. Didn't even feel that though. <clears throat> so I think that is that.
yeah, usual spots. There's still some Velcro down here. And I'll just pick that up while I'm off camera with my usual Bic. I know I've shown this many times, but I'll either use a Bic or my old Mac 3. This blade has been on this for probably over a year. <laughs> so, and this is still the first Bic that I used, so <clears throat> disposable Bic, so I'll use one or the other just to tidy that little bit up there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my usual thing. I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all cleaned up. That was a bit bit of a bigger cut. I've been trying to get this stopped for a few minutes now, but it's still bleeding. But uh, I've tried stip tick on it. I've tried, I haven't tried the alum, which I'm about to do. So let's get the cold rinse going. Get the alum on. Spray some water. Excuse me. And the alum. Try that. I've, as I say, I've put the step tick on it, but it's still bleeding. I didn't even feel it. If I'm honest, I did not feel it. So, not much of a burn either. Little bit, I'd say two out of 10 everywhere else. Oh yeah. So I'll just let that cool off, get rid of this blood, <clears throat> yeah, don't think I've cut myself like that for a long time, that's a cut, but it's it's a tiny, it's almost like I've taken the top off a previous cut, I don't remember whether I cut myself there before, but it's a tiny, tiny little cut, so Let's try it with a little bit more stick tick. Hopefully this will get it. But <clears throat> we'll just carry on. So the uh, witch hazel I'm using is Thayer's Lemon. <coughs> Thayer's Lemon. Get some of that on there. Oh. Put a bit more on the dome. Perfect. And uh, the aftershave for today, <clears throat> sort of Mediterranean scents. It's Aqua de Concentrada, no, Aqua de Colonia de Concentrada, and it says Men Mediterranean scents. It's mostly citrus, uh, but there are lots of other scents in the background. It's quite a complicated scent. Um, let's just put that on. That feels great, the scent. It's sort of zesty, orange zest, lemon zest and lime zest all rolled into one. It's really nice, really refreshing. And then I'm following up, let's take it out of its box, with Nivea Skin Energy, and it's got caffeine in it. <clears throat> And then I'll, when I've finished the shave, I have to go away and stick some 
tissue paper on that, I think. It's the only way I'm going to stop that. Madness. I haven't had a bleeder like this for a long time. A long, long time. See, I miss a shave on a weekend and this is what happens. <laughs> right. With that, that's the end of the shave, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll be back on Saturday. Um, I'll probably use my birth razor on Saturday uh, in celebration of my birthday last Sunday. So um, I will see you then. Bye now.